All right, we're going to look at normal distribution, uh, basic empirical rule. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to draw out this x axis right down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw the normal distribution. Now the normal distribution is really just set up to describe um, values of a variable that are di distributed symmetrical. And a lot of times we like to think of it as mountain shape. So let me see if I can go ahead and get something very similar to what a normal distribution looks like. Okay. Um, and as we go along with this, the normal distribution is designed to be based off of the standard, the mean, which is right here. That's the mean. And then standard deviations above and below the mean. And how we work that is simple. We just draw three lines above and three lines below. And those lines are standard deviations that are either above or below. So in this case, this is the, me the mean plus one standard deviation. And from there, we just work up so we say mu plus two standard deviations and the mean plus three standard deviations. At that point, we just keep working down now. We take the mean and we subtract one standard deviation. We take the mean and we subtract two standard deviations and the mean minus three standard deviations. Um, the reason why this is so important is as the as the data is distributed normally or mound shaped and symmetrical, uh, we see the phenomena that we have um, some really good estimates for data. And those estimates of data are as follows. We would say that 34% of the data falls between the mean and one standard deviation, but that's also true for below. And then we see that 13.5% of the population falls between one standard deviation and two. And because it's symmetrical, you see that on the other side as well. Um, then we just keep working it. And you'll notice that the statistics, the probability of something occurring decreases as we work our way out to the outsides, which then can lead us to some outliers with this information. So 2.35%. And lastly, we've got 0.15%. Uh, sometimes you'll see this rule as called the 6895, um, 99.7. So 6895 and 99.7. And so explaining that is really pretty simple is if we do the math and we add things together, what you're going to notice is simply put here is 68% of the data. Okay. Then we work ourselves to here, okay, which is 95% of the data. Okay. And as we work our way all the way out, uh, let's pick a fun color. Let's go with I've already done purple, let's go with brown. That's, that's a full color. Uh, then what we do is we go all the way from here to here um, on the outside, that is our 99.7% of the data. And that's how that rule works.